Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? This is Sean Evans checking in in between Season 5 and Season 6. Did not want to leave you empty-handed on a Thursday without those spicy chicken wings that you crave so much. And people have been asking me, where's Machine Gun Kelly Round 2? People have been tweeting me, what happened to the second Machine Gun Kelly interview? Well... If you followed us on Super Bowl Sunday, you saw Machine Gun Kelly take on the wings of death for a second time and a very special musical performance. Unfortunately, the performance was only a Super Bowl Sunday event, but we did want to bring back the interview, dust it off. It's a Hot Ones Lost Tape, Machine Gun Kelly Round 2, sans a musical performance. Don't complain that there's not a musical performance, because I'm telling you right now, there's not going to be a musical performance. But without further ado, Machine Gun Kelly, Round 2, fight. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And it's a banner day, a Hot Ones first. We have returning to the seat, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. He's been a busy guy since last we ate, releasing his third studio album, Bloom, touring the world, and his new single, Home, is everywhere. MGK, how does it feel to be back? Feels spicy. Well, Feels you know, real spicy right now. We have completely different sauces this time around. The good news is you're doing half as many wings. The bad news is some of these are considerably hotter than last time. You know the first hot wing I ever ate? It was with me. Yeah. I feel so special. Are you ready to do it again? I am. All right. So this first one is the hot one sauce. We're out here. I'm going to take my fangs out. Come on. Those are meant for like. Sucking blood, not chicken wings. We gotta eat last. the whole weed. Okay. I'm talking about to the bone this time. Cause we we danced around it last time. Let's get to it. So I actually want to start by taking it back to that fateful day two and a half years ago. You were one of our first guests and to this day still a fan favorite. And I'm wondering, what was the reaction like afterwards? Have you run into Hot Ones fans in the wild? Absolutely, dude. Some people got hip to me through that. Damn, that's hot. But <laughs> they discovered me by eating some fucking chicken wings, so it is a trip, you know what I mean? And then the top comment on your YouTube video is, I thought MGK was gonna fight him, holy shit. What, if anything, do you remember about the experience? How close were you to breaking? I mean, you want my honest answer? I didn't want to be in that building that, that day. Really? To be honest, yeah, I had, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had some other things I was upset about. So you were just 100% gonna get it, you know what I mean? And your last question made me want to just punch you in the face. MGK, are you in love? Oh, you. But you have a punchable face. People so. have said that. Lots yeah, of people yeah, have yeah. said so. that. What was the aftermath like? How bad did we fuck up your day? It was the absolute like worst shit I've taken in my entire life. And I, w I had a whole string of interviews that day. That's Do you what's know what rough. I mean? Yeah. So there's nothing worse than being in a public place and trying to like just <laughs> keep it together. And it, yeah. Having those hot ones cold sweats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that, that's, that's really hot. The karma sauce, extreme karma, it's like, I have a lot of that coming anyway, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I'm excited about that. Is that this wing right here? That's this wing right here, let's clean it. So for many, Machine Gun Kelly is a stage diving, speaker climbing, rage animal, but the real ones know that there's a softer side to Gunna. What do you like at the parent-teacher conferences? You said oh, that you- Oh, dude, I went in to read at my, at my daughter's school the other day. Bunch of little eight-year-olds. Some of them are like mad tough too, you know what I mean? They're in there like, what's this dude about? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, this your dad, huh? Look at him, man. What's up with, what's this dude's deal? I had to read this book and it was just, I started reading it and I was like, oh my God, it's a funny book. Like it's supposed to be funny. You know what I mean? I started saying some punchlines and they weren't, they weren't hitting. It was not playing well. Was, nah, and I was like, oh. tough crowd. And I looked up and I seen, I seen my kid like, you know, like, <laughs> And then that one punchline came where I said, and the booger dripped down Kenny's face. So when the whole class was like, ah, <laughs> started dying laughing. It was at that point that I knew I won him over. I walked out of that classroom like a goddamn rock star. They all were like, best book reader guest yet. This one is the bomb, which is maybe the toughest one in the entire lineup. This it? Why don't, ah. Uh. You know, remember that uh, that clean the chicken went, holy shit. You know, immediately. That shit was a dumb idea on my part. 
clean that, man. What is that? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Why the fuck is everyone looking like that, dude? It's painful. You're why did you do this to me, dude? What is that? What is listen, that one? <laughs> listen, I feel like you did this to me too. You know, this whole cleaning the wings situation. Just like last time taking some laps. You really kind of invented the hot one's lap. <laughs> punchable face, dude, I swear to God, now. So I know that there's a softer well, no. side to Machine Gun Kelly, but the real ones know that you can also be a speaker climbing, stage diving, rage animal. So on this wing, I want to focus on your world tour, get some stories from the road. Did you get in trouble out there? I saw some tweets. I, I, I... Mm -hmm. Dog, what the f Yeah. Hey, y'all, fuck that. Somebody come eat this shit right now because I know you're thinking I'm fucking playing. Dipper Saint, come here. I swear Take to God. Take on some the bomb. Give me a chicken wing. I mean, I need one chicken wing because this is, no one's, I'm not about to have people looking at me crazy. Someone feel this fucking pain, dude. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was that question? Did you get in trouble on your world tour? Well, our bus got searched four times. I ended up in two jail cells, one in Norway, one in, fuck, in Finland or something. Careful around your eyes. And, uh, and I, I just got detained at the LAX airport for something that I will probably never ever say. Until the statute of limitations over. Mm. Y'all got Zoom on here? Look at this one lonely tear, this movie shit. Except movie shit comes from the center of the eyes. This one you know it's fake. This, this one right here, it's from the corner. That's a real tear. Don't mean this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you still on the whole clean the wing thing? Or you kind of want to do a bite? Where are you at with that? I, I am unfortunately a man of my words, so now we gotta just do it. Would you stop starting? Just say, help me out before okay, we listen, get into this. Listen, I got into that one pace. trying to catch up and right. see where that led us. But there's nowhere to go. You know, it's just both of us. Okay, so at least give me like a one, two, three, so I just, right. I don't want to participate. One, two, three. Bro, well, I'm, I can't taste. Mm -hmm. I can't even taste. So let's take it to a happier place because you recently played a sold out hometown concert in Cleveland. I know the 216, it holds a very special place in your heart. What's more Cleveland, Polish boys or pierogies? Polish boys. Honestly, like, we eat like corned beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, go to Simon's, grab a really good corned beef, pastrami sandwich. That's a Cleveland vibe. Best rapper to come out of Cleveland, not yourself. Go listen to the bitch out from Cleveland mixtape. There's a lot of people that really just like inspired me in my whole career that I'm still friends with all those guys, you know what I'm saying, on that tape. And they, they, they really kind of paved the way for me. So that's a good tape. Damn, bro. Mm -hmm. Bigger source of Cleveland pride, Superman or Drew Carey? Oh, I forgot Superman was there. I mean, me, Drew, me and Drew Carey be partying crazy together. I'm gonna really? go. I'm a, yeah, I didn't party with Superman. He, he, didn't, he didn't come. He didn't. He didn't tap in with me. So I, Drew Carey. Drew Carey, that, that man. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Drew Carey's been fucking with me since back when I was. I would do a cover of "What's My Age Again" by Blink-182, and I would take all my clothes off, this would be right before Wild Boy. So Drew Carey was rocking with me since back in those days. Like he would show up to the show with like five hot blonde girls. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? And he, and he would show up randomly, wouldn't even like announce himself half the time. He'd just be sitting there chilling, he'd be like looking at like, you'd be see like, you'd see like a sea of these beautiful women. You'd be like, damn, like what's that balcony doing? And then there's Drew Carey with like eight bottles in the middle of him like, yeah, Cleveland, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then it just carried on tradition, dude. Like. Any concert I'm at, like, you just pop up, you know, you just walk backstage after the show, there's Drew Carey. Respect. Cleveland, oh, dude, broke my foot. Broke my fucking ankle in four places. 
Guess who sent me flowers? Drew Carey. Drew Carey, dude. What a sweetheart. I woke up. There's like a, a, a thing of like, it's like orchids or something that's like metaphoric towards like heal. You know what I mean? Whatever the fuck. So he thought about it. And I look and I'm like, you know, and I'm like, who's that? And it's like, you know, Cleveland love, get, get your leg better so you can, you know, go rock it. Drew Carey. All right, Machine Gun Kelly. I have a feeling Drew Carey might have to send more flowers after this interview. This is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. But you wanna know something special, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, I wanna know. Do you know who invented dabbing the last wing? A tradition that has carried on for now almost 100 episodes and into our fifth season. Who did Do you know that? who originated it? Who? You. Me? You. You are the one that were like, let's put a little extra on the last wing. And that's a tradition that is now carried on into the fifth season of the show. Isn't you know that what? amazing? That is the story of my life, dude. Doing things that I do not remember doing. <laughs> All right, cheers, my man. Was it good to be back? Do you want the honest answer or do you want the camera no. version? I'm just playing. No, I'm, I, no, dude, I, Sean, I like, you know I, like. I fucking love you, dog. I know, I, I love appreciate you, too. you, man. I Thank you on your fucking successful year. You too. For real. For Thank real. you for having me on the show early on and believing in me. If this wing is too spicy, I will punch you in the face, bro. <laughs> okay. Not bad. That's like an islandy. Mm hmm. You know, Very like good. an island breeze. Damn, dog. Mm hmm. Where'd the island breeze go? Yeah, that's the thing, is it kind of comes in nicely, but then it has a little bit of a tail oh, on it. It's like a girlfriend. It just comes in <laughs> really nice. Right, right. And, and then, then eventually. At the point when you think it's all going good, the roller coaster goes the other direction. All right, Machine Gun Kelly, typically on the last wing, we have our guests do some sort of challenge, maybe say something inspirational, try to answer one more question without passing out on set. But with you, we have the toughest wing 10 challenge of them all. Where's the microphone? Who has that microphone? Oh God. You've been known to be a nonconformist, someone who breaks down barriers, I don't think anyone has ever done a live show with three million Scovilles coursing through them. But now you have no choice because the sound is checked, the band is ready, and the people are out there. It's time to go kill it, my man. Fangs in, glasses on, Clark becomes Superman. MGK taking the stage. Hot ones, two times, cut it. One dab, two dab, three dab, what the what? This is Sean Evans checking in from a wingless table and you know what that means. We're proud to announce a new member of the Last Dab family. Trinidad's famous Maruga Scorpion Pepper, the hottest pepper in the world from 2012 to 2013, is now in the fold. Same base recipe you know and love, but now with a new super hot in the mix. And I know that one of you Spice Lords out there is going to hit the triple dab. The Scorpion into the Reaper, into the Pepper X, you know the drill. Heatness.com, buy it while supplies last. Godspeed, Spice Lords, be careful out there.